Hey guys, welcome to episode 11 of our Save Our Ships uh, 2.3 Let's Play. So, last episode did insanely well, so I put an insane amount of effort into this episode as well. It's going to be broken up into two parts. There'll be the building phase for the first 20 minutes or so, and a combat phase for the last 10 minutes, and I'll timestamp it. Thane made some starting ships for the mod, so these might not be available yet, but we will have starting ships available for public use. I'm not sure how it's going to be implemented or what it's going to do, but it looks really cool. It seems like you'll start on like an old abandoned shipyard, and then you pick through the ships and choose a ship you want to start with, some being easier and some being harder starts than other ones. And yeah, the, I'll have a battle phase and a building phase, and there'll be timestamps. And I'll also probably give you a time step to the boarding phase. And that's kind of how I want to model these episodes from out here on out going forward. I have to talk about some building stuff that was just not interesting. And in before the building phase, basically, we just shoot up a few parts of the ship. We repaired some stuff. We designed a few areas. We put floor everywhere. I, I, I spam steel floor everywhere because I noticed that the ship hull doesn't actually increase the movement speed when they walk on it. So if you if you need to actually have a floor on top of the ship hull to increase the movement speed and also it looks better and it's more cleanly. There's a bunch of benefits. So I basically did steel floor everywhere I could. I hope you guys enjoy today's episode. Have a good one and uh, yeah, have, yeah, have a good day. Alright, so the plan's going to be to bridge out on either side, going left and right. We're probably just going to fill these rooms with a crazy amount of heat sinks and cool towards the thrusters and any other direction we can find. Really, we might cool over here as well. We'll figure it out. Alright, I'll get started. And these won't get burned down. Okay, good. Just double checking. We're good on the walls. I probably want to turn these into coolers, actually. I should probably do that right now. Rather than just waiting. I mean, why not do it now if that's what I'm going to be doing either way? Follow this. Cancel. And let's put some coolers in there. Where'd they go? There we are. Ship radiators. They're in the right direction, of course. Or we vent heat out and cool inside. Now, do I want fins? That's the question. Or do I want to do some kind of internal cooling system? Hmm. I think an internal cooling system is going to be better, because then I can have a hallway here, and I can, I, I don't know, use that hallway for various means. Hmm. Yeah, I, I'm going to do it this way. All right, so that's the layout of the cooling area. So we'll have a hallway, you know, hallway, hallway, hallway. And door, door, doors all along here, except for this half. Let's just connect these two up. Like that. And you will be like that. And we'll put doors here, here, here. And this will be our little cooling pads, if you will. That'll be exchanging uh, heat. And we'll fill this room with heat sinks just to the brim. Just max capacity heat sinks. Literally every tile. And I will mirror this on the other side. Did I not make this long enough? Oh no, did I make a mistake? Uh, 11, oh it's not even close. 19. <sighs> we'll put an armored fin here at some point, and I'll have to do some kind of armoring down this wing of the ship as well. I'm probably just going to make it look exactly like that, like a big wing, and really armor it all up. All right, guys, I'm not going to lie. I went a little bit overboard with the steel floors. Um, we're out of steel. I don't know how much steel we had after our big smelting operation that we did at the start of the episode. I think we had well had over 10,000. Maybe we even had 20,000. It's all gone. <laughs> I used it all. <laughs> but this is going to be the ship starting to look more fleshed out. Like, I'll probably build another missile tube section here, missile tube section here, and flesh out this lower area. I'm not sure what I'll put down here, but that'll be the ship design. Put two big fins here and here. And uh, that'll be the ship. Mighty big. Takes up almost half the map at this point. <laughs> and it's somebody's birthday. Ah, it's uh, Saxel's Mark II's birthday. He's reached a biological age of 300. Really? I mean, didn't I build you like a few years ago? How do you... No, wait, what? Alright, whatever. Moving on. We're, we've changed our uh, kind of main bridge power layout. I might have already mentioned it, but let me just show you this quickly. So now uh, I have adjusted my order menu because somebody suggested taking people off fire and taking people off various jobs. 
so they don't check to see if they can do the job might help performance and so far it has so i've thinned the list out quite a bit there's people just are doing the tasks that they should be doing and everyone's kind of you know if they have nothing they'll help in construction I've also taken a few people off basic tasks. You can see Zachary is one of the few people that's still on basic tasks, so he's come to flip the switch. And now, after the taxes arrive, Zachary, can you turn off the weapon banks? We don't want to keep those weapon banks on. That's not necessary. It should only charge these railgun bays and the bridge. And that's all we want powered, which is exactly what it's doing. Fantastic. Okay, it's not exactly what it's doing. Okay, I still need to fix this. How oh, can I fix this? Okay, we need to make unpowered walls here. That's how we fix this. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to separate the power grids in such a way where I can have these two switches power the left and right weapon banks and have a main power source running to the uh, primary bridge section, which is going to be this area with all these computers, just to increase our time to find enemy ships. Uh, basically, there's like a scanning process who are progress to guaranteed fine, and the more people you have on the bridge computers, the faster you will find enemy ships. If you guys are curious where I got all the alpha and beta poly, taxes, just lots of taxes where alpha and beta poly would show up. Also, the kitchen is now uh, alpha poly floor, I think. I think it's an alpha poly floor. It's really pretty. Also, beta poly floor. Very pretty. <laughs> so I see Jacob Hazard there, which is the body I'm talking to right now. And some guy named C-X-A-L-I-Z. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. I'm bad at pronouncing things. Alright, so Saxel Mark II died. I, I genuinely don't know what happened. I just got an alert that he died. And uh, uh, let me just bring up the alert again. I have no idea what happened. It's just... Hyper action reaction. What? Master ship airlock with a long sword edge. Hyper action reaction caused. Uh, okay. Did he go berserk or something? No, he he was having a birthday party. Oh, the following things were added to him. Oh, so he got older and he developed more uh, disability and effects. So as an android, he, in his age, he got corrupted memory, weak valves, and hyper action reaction, which I'm not sure what it does, but whatever it did in his old age ended up killing him. I just want to take a look at his corpse, actually see what actually happened. So when somebody comes along here and opens him up, we'll be able to see what, you know, happened. Okay, so what happened to you, dude? Fatal. Mechanoid storage. Oh, so I guess his mechanoid storage failed. Mechanoid storage for androids is basically their blood pumping facilities. So, from what I understand, no, that might be the valves. I don't know, this might be blood filtration for androids. But either way, his something critical failed. One of his critical organs failed. <laughs> Ugh. Well, that's a shame. Man, this guy's been around for a very, very, very long time. He's been around since Robot Kingdom's episode 30 or 40, give or take. All right, well, I guess put him back in. I mean, this is where we bury everyone. All right, Devo put him back in. Seems fitting. As I first casualty of Purple Team, guys, natural causes. Old age. Death from old age. <laughs> oh, that's a shame. I don't think I can scan for targets on the minimal bridge. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, can't be used to scan for orbital sites and suffers reduced accuracy and engine speed. Okay, okay. So you definitely want primary bridges over minimal bridges if you're doing scanning processes. It seems like only the primary bridge can scan for objects of interest. Yes. So... Don't build minimal bridges only as like a backup to actually piloting the ship. If you want to build 
Uh, if you want to be able to scan for more ships, you need more ship bridges. Period. I'll have to redesign this area. Kind of fit in another one here and another one here at some point. Right now we have no steel, so we're going to find a ship. We're going to fight a ship. And we're going to call episode there. Hope I'm thinking of dividing these episodes into two parts, like a building phase and a combat phase. And then I'll just have a time step where building phase starts and a time step when the combat phase starts. I think that's a good idea. I'm also thinking about doing uh, this in like a series format. So we'll call episode 1 to 10 series 1. And then I'll start from episode 1 again and call it series 2. And series 2 will go to either we die and explode and lose everything. Or until we have some kind of epic battle where I feel like it's a good place to wrap up the series. Um, if I can get some feedback on it. Because that kind of seems like a scummy thing to do. Is like going to episode 10 then back to episode 1. Then up to episode 10 again and repeating the cycle. I'd put a little S symbol beside it to indicate it's series 2. If I can get some feedback on that. If you guys think that's like okay or if that's lying to the customers lying to the viewers you guys i just want to know if you guys think it's a good idea or a bad idea all right so let's start ripping apart the bridge we're out of steel now so not much else to do we'll try to squeeze in a few more ship bridges here somewhere i'll we'll have to move the walls and kind of readjust this area oh right 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 we have to raffle off the last member of green team uh who was he George! No! Oh, no. What was his name? George, I think you were a real person that I put into this game, right? You're not just some starter pawn. No, he might be the starter pawn. He's George George, mechanical columnist. Okay, I'm gonna assume George George is the starter pawn that I need to rename. Alright, we've just spotted a hostile ship. Let's see what kind of ship it is. It's an attack imp shuttle. So it's an imperial shuttle? My best guess. We'll attack this in a minute. So I promised to give out the last name in episode 11. And I've been making a long list on my notepad of people that want this name. I, I'm not joking. I have like 30 names here. Uh, and I was going to put them through a randomizer and kind of just uh, do this. But I mean, I just want to get this done. So just just trust me that I'm choosing from this list at random. Uh, 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 there's a lot of names here. Uh, Archangel. Yeah, we're gonna go with Archangel, guys. All right, Archangel is now the now the name. <laughs> that was that was the draw. I hope everyone enjoyed it. <laughs> and your original name was George. Welcome to the team, Arc Archangel. I'm spelling this correctly. No, there's an A. Okay. Welcome to the team, Archangel. I hope you enjoy your stay. Uh, that is all of the names given away. We are not doing any more name giveaways. Done. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, Getting a name in the series, and I hope you live longer than Saxel. Or live as long as him to die of natural causes. Man, I can't believe an android died of natural causes. <laughs> you think he'd die in combat, but no. <laughs> Old age. Old age is what got him. Alright, power to the shields. Load up yellow team, and we will engage in combat. It's just a shuttle. But, uh, better safe than sorry. Phoenix, you don't have a gun. Alright, Phoenix, let's correct this. Oh, fantastic. We started making armor for Dominic as his promotion. And the first piece of armor we've made from Proximal Mark III has been a masterwork. Awesome. Fantastic start. Hopefully we get a masterwork chest plate, too. <laughs> he's, uh, he's maximum crafting skill, so that has a big part of it. He's 20. Legendary Master. Alright guys, we've been here for a while. Let's just bully this trading ship. We need metals. We need slag. We need something to do. <laughs> we need more steel to make more ship bridges so we can actually scan to find ships faster. It's It sucks waiting sometimes. Alright, what are we looking at? Uh, yeah, we can mess this up without any troubles. Is it entirely unarmed? It just needs to not get away. But I think it's gonna get away. We're gonna suck. Alright, target all weapons there. Okay, and half the battery fire on the other side. You guys probably won't even pierce the shield. And I don't even think I'll be able to catch up to it either. If I click advance, yeah, well, like, not even half thrust. Yeah, it's, it's getting away from us. We might be able to slow it down a bit. I first volley... Was definitely not bad. Okay, 
Uh, <laughs> maybe we can catch it. <laughs> All right, let's retarget a few of these. Uh, a few there. Grab these ones. A few on the right. And let's grab the Ford batteries and we'll target that Senno one. These are probably extremely accurate, this range. It's something I didn't consider. Ah, I hit its mark. Yeah, we're taking some small rounds. I, I don't even care, completely honest. Yeah. Ah, oh, turret. Okay, I take it back. I do care. Turn on the shield. <laughs> they blew up one of my turrets. Oh, it's so rude. <laughs> oh. Right, we took another volley. Hey, Flint. So, you see here, we have this thing called a shield that's not on. Okay, you with me? You with me so far, Flint? The shield isn't on because somebody didn't repair it. Ah. No, it's my fault. The shields are not connected to our thermal grid. It's got a connection here, but not over here. Ah, Flint, you see, uh, your injury is all my fault, man. Yeah, my bad. This is, uh, bad management skills. That's what's going on here. <laughs> you gonna live? Alright, you're fine. Just a railgun to the shoulder and your uh, spinal cord. It's fine. You can walk that off, right? Uh, you guys wanna come inside, actually? Just, uh, just get inside for the time being. Uh, it, it got away! Uh, just notice that now. What are we looking at? Uh, same ship. Different weapon layout. It's got six and six, so 12 weapons. I forgot the power on the shields. Let's go ahead and do that. We need to take out their engines again, and hopefully we can do this time in a timely manner. This time, this time we can do it in a timely manner. Let's just set three on every engine. Three, three, Three. Three. I think we got them all. And then... You guys are here. Okay, I think that's all the weapons. These won't be in range. These won't be in range. So it's really all on the railguns. I should probably swap out the heads on these for railgun heads. And I think we're out of gas. Okay, we have a little bit of gas in the tank. So that'll help us... Kind of just tail them. So we might get a second volley in. Hopefully. Wow. Okay, they have a tough shield. I don't think we're gonna get these guys. Well, at least we're not taking damage anywhere else. Just this one gun. We lost them. Damn. Can't keep up. Damn trade ships are too quick. We need more chem fuel. Let's try to attack another trade ship. Hopefully this one doesn't get away from us like every other trade ship we've fought so far. Probably is gonna get away from us, but we'll find out. Hopefully not. Uh, we need chem fuel. That's what it comes down to. We need more chem fuel to fuel up our engines. This this guy's gonna get away. Like, there's no chance. Like, I don't even know if it's worth shooting at. I could try landing my troops there, but obviously it's gonna get away before they even can make, you know, a concise landing. Uh, you know, before they even breach the bridge. Like, watch how fast this thing's gonna get away. It's gonna be gone in, like, ten seconds. Still very cool. I love this a lot. But it's almost at the escape point, and it's gone. <sighs> Alright, well... Hopefully we find a ship that actually wants to stay with us and hang out for a fight. Because right now, uh... That kind of sucks. I could melt down some of my corn into biofuel. Actually, that's a, I think that's a good idea. Let's build a biofuel generator. I think we're at that point where I need a biofuel generator to actually make chem fuel. Where should I put this? Uh, I don't know, man. Put it by the corn. The corn's here. Just throw it down. Throw it down here. This is a fine spot. Alright, there's another trader we can attack. There's not much point, but I'm gonna try, because there's nothing else to do. So, <laughs> um, once we get some steel slag, I'll be able to build some more bridges, but we're kind of caught at a bottleneck where I... It's, it takes a really long time to actually scan for a ship with one or two bridges. I need three or four, ideally. Alright. Maybe I'll be able to catch this one, catch up to this one. Maybe. It doesn't have much in the way of shields. 
because we've blasted through its shields before. All right, target there. You three target there. And I want three of you to target this one. Three of you to target the one on the right. And three of you to target the one, this one. That's only missing out on one of them. We'll use the little bit of gas we have, which is only three engines, but that's what, what it is. And hopefully we can catch up and stop this thing. You. Ah, oh, we didn't take out the shields in the first volley. I think it's going to get away. It's returning fire, but our shields are fully functional and not breaking anymore, thankfully. No, it's... it's Reload time is 27 seconds. It's gone. It, there's no chance. <sighs> Stop it! Don't go... Uh, uh, damn trade ships. They're too quick. Right, We've got to dip into our uh, surprise mechanics a few, a few more times. We need more steel to build that biochemical uh, reactor. So let's, uh, let's open up all of our surprise mechanics. We'll, we'll save a couple just in case we need them. Uh, look at all the guys. They're here opening those surprise mechanics. Yes, surprise mechanics for everyone. <laughs> look at them all. Um, hold on, pause. How many guys are in this pile? 16. There's 16 people here. <laughs> Dominic. <laughs> with his new silly fur helmet. Oh my god. Just 21 people in this one. 18 people are in this one stack. <laughs> Surprise mechanics. Oh. Oh, that's awesome. That's so cool. Dude, 51 advanced components just there, lying on the ground. Dream come true. All right, we gotta turn off the shields. Herp a derp. Uh, shields off. You are currently in a room that's 200 Celsius, but it's cooling off very rapidly. I'm really looking forward to these new cooling heat sinks room. I think it's a really good design, the way with these internal backwards are, and we can build out the ship in this direction. All right, I'm gonna try to find another fight once we get a bit more chem fuel, hopefully. All right, for the most part, we're up to 50 fuel in all of our rockets, so hopefully this will be enough to actually keep uh, our tail on the trade ship. So we're going to start another battle with another trade ship, and once we actually disable their engines is when we will launch our boarding party. But until we disable our engines, I'm just going to hold off in the boarding party just to make sure that they don't escape with our crew on the ship, which would be horrible. All right, one more try. Hey, buddy. I think this is the weaker one. It's got doesn't I don't think this one has too many heat sinks. I don't I don't know. It probably has a lot of heat sinks. So fire shields on advance. Oh, look at all the way engines kick on. How many engines do we have? 16. Not that many. This is not many engines for the size of the ship. So we're still pretty slow. Let's be clear about that. We're not quick. We're uh we're definitely on the slow side of things. I'm just going to target a few engines here by hand just so I don't have to do it again later. And hopefully we have enough firepower to breach their shield. And, uh, ooh, one of their engines might be turned off. If that's the case, that'd be a big win for us. Saves me from prioritizing a target. Ooh, it's got negative... T uh, I don't know what that was. It's got negative 12 fuel. Yes! Don't know why, but hooray! Alright. Oh! Something's wrong with their heat capacitors. Perfect! Alright, we're gonna- we're gonna ruin these people's lives! Yes! Ah, oh, see you later, engines. All right, they're dead in the water. Hold fire. Shut, shut off. Shut off the weapons. It's fine. Um, hold on. Something's wrong with the weapons power supply. Uh, the shut off switches aren't working. I have to redesign this again. I'll look at this again later. I'll just move these switches over. I think that's what the plan will be. All right, you guys just uh, just get uninstalled. All right, that's a future problem now. So let's load up a boarding team. Uh, so they're dead in the water now. Hmm. I'm just thinking. Oh no, the dog! Ah. Uh. Okay, we need to save as many dogs as we can. So we'll just send a boarding team to do as minimal damage as possible. That way we can salvage the most of the ship. God, I wish I could send send these uh, M7 androids. They just demolish everything if I could. 
Let's send green team. Green teams haven't done much, and this seems like a pretty easy mission for them. And uh, yellow team's been doing all the hard work, so let's have green team do this one. And we'll send the purple team captain, just in case they need somebody in melee. Alright, we can turn off our engines. They're dead in the water. All stop. Engines have stopped. Uh, right when they ran out of fuel. Well, that sucks. Alright. Alright, you guys be safe on your raiding party. Try not to break everything. Don't kill that many dogs, please. Dogs are our friends. Okay, what what's firing? Hey, hey, we're not we're not doing the shooty shoot. Stop firing. Hold fire. We're just waiting for Kenji. Kenji, do you have a broken leg or something? No, you're just slow. I gotta do some bionic upgrades on these androids at some point. They need advanced legs, they need advanced arms, they need better battery packs, they need a lot of stuff to really just make them more better. Uh, right now, these are just tier 2 androids, and tier 2 androids are arguably inferior to humans in a lot of capacity. Alright, let's land by the bridge, and let's... I could just breach here. I mean, this seems like a good place to breach. There's a ventilation duct. Perfect. I'm going to turn off the shields briefly, just because our computer systems are overheating. So I'm going to let them cool off. Cooling off. And flick it back on. Good enough. Alright. We probably just took a round on the chin, but whatever. They don't have many weapons firing at us. Alright, you two. You see that ventilation? I don't want that ventilation there anymore. Robert! Why don't you have a gun? I, I, uh, dude, like, literally, if I could fire you from the team, I would. Alright, just keep going in there, Oscar and Devo. And Max, you can take that corner. And I guess I want the rest of you guys in there to destroy the weapons, or at least kind of get in there behind it. Let's squeak up a bit more. Alright, so... Doomsday Launcher. Oh wait, two Doomsday Launchers? One Doomsday Launcher, check. Two, do two Doomsday Launchers! Okay! That's a little bit concerning in these tight confines. Uh, four turrets. Hmm. Okay, do we rush the Doomsday Launchers? I feel like that's a good option, but there's four turrets in here. Which is very concerning. We could try to camp the corner and let them come out towards us. I think I'm going to get our best shooters on the corner here. Uh, you guys, I want you to breach this door in case we want to run north. So, I want our machine gun. So, Nutris, I want you in this corner. I gotta watch for the Doomsday Launchers. The Doomsday Launchers are my, my big threat here. I want the... Okay, we killed the captain. I don't... That was totally by accident. Okay, Robert, your job is if these Doomsday Launchers come at us, I want you to be able to eat the shot because you're wearing the heaviest armor. He's wearing the Beta Poly armor, 200, 200, 200 across the board. He could still die in it. I've had lots of people die in this type of armor, but uh, he's got the best chance. You guys... Uh, they're actually doing a better job clearing out the... Okay, we got the Doomsday Launcher targeting us, so let's target it before it targets us. Just everyone, please fire on it. Um, it's really all I can do from this position. We're in a good sp It could fire into the room. In the theory that it might fire into the room, I want everyone else to evacuate. You three are staying here and you're gonna fire at return fire. Okay, not a problem. We took it out. Okay, good job, you guys. Um, <laughs> I, they're so loud when they die. Let's... I don't want to melee these turrets because they do secondary. So let's get Max up here to just poke at it from the range. And you can step into the doorway and you can fire at the rest of the turrets in the room. Alright, so if you want to step forward and fire at the next turret, Max, if you want to step around that corner and get ready to fire at the next turret, 
Wait, you, he has a Doomsday Launcher. Okay, I want you guys to charge that man with the Doomsday Launcher. You, you, the room is clear, it's just you and him, and you can enter the minimum range of this turret, in theory, before it can see you. Okay, one shot, that's not a big deal. Devo, get him! Oh, never mind. Nutris got him. <laughs> Nutris. Uh, okay, you need to get in a position where you can shoot that turret. And both of you can enter the minimum range and start breaking down that door. Everyone else just kind of wait behind this column for the time being. Okay, that's life support. We don't care about that. No, no, Rain Man, get behind the column. Don't be in the line of sight. Okay, it's secondary, and this is why we all are safely behind the building. Oh, that was actually quite small. Alright, so uh, ship AI core is, I think it's here. So let's just break down this wall. Oh, a solid wall behind the door. Mmm, didn't see that one coming. All right, this is it. Uh, Rain Man, okay, you're in immediate peril. One of them has an anti-mech rifle, which is actually terrifying because we are mechs. <laughs> uh, Devo, I wish you were up here. Oscar, we want you because you have a shield, so you get up here. Devo, you come up here too, honestly. I want two of you to cover this rear entrance back here just so we don't have any trouble coming from the back because there are people back here. Robert, you have the shield, don't you? I... I I hate you still, Robert, but... Uh, where are you? Okay, you up front, because you have the shield. Oscar's here now as well. I don't really want to send them in, because they could explode. Okay, ship battle one. Alright, we did it. Done. Go home. Good job, everyone. We've, we've completed our job here. We don't have to deal with any of these things now. This is no longer our problem. Mission accomplished. That was... A little bit more stressful than I thought it was going to be, just because of the Doomsday Launchers. It's such a close quarter confines, the Doomsday Launchers are an ins insane threat. Because if one gets fired off, that could be your entire team gone, just in a blink of an eye. Alright, there's a bunch of huskies and yaks on this ship, in theory. I guess we'll find out once... They're probably in these uh, cargo holds, if I had to take a guess. Yeah, more than likely. That went really well. Okay, let's... Okay, turn off our shields. Shields eye off. How old is our elephant? You are 44 years old. How long have you been alive in the colony? Because we picked him up around episode 14. I wonder how many years he's been alive. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Oh, episode 14 of Robot Kingdoms, to be clear. I think I talked about that once already. Good job, Repair Crews. Darth Alpha, Gene Ruby, and... Jadadian? Oh my god. Uh, thank you, Darth Alpha. You're my, you're my favorite of the group because I can read your name. <laughs> oh. Alright, alright. Land the ship. Land it. There we go. We're good. Removing marine armor. Why are you removing marine armor? Hey, hold on. Stop it. Removing marine armor. Okay. Some... Why? I don't know, man. Just go rest in medical before you remove that. You got some nicks here from an autocannon that need to be dealt with. I'm not life-threatening, but they're good nicks. They hit you, it hits you pretty good. And let's salvage the ship. So we have, can grab the wounded, which I'm not going to do because, well, I don't have space for them. Uh, and I don't have a prison bait. We could grab some of the huskies and rams and the yaks. Which I do want to do. Let me just look at the items first. So we'll take basically everything. This is actually great because there's no hunting in space. So we're hunting for meat supplying ships. <laughs> and this is definitely one of them. I'll take the hay too, why not? Um, I'll definitely take your steel and plasteel, no doubt there. 
I'll pass up on the Yoka. And ship salvage, 100%. I'll even take the dead animals because we can butcher them. I'll take your silver and gold. And do we want any of the live animals? I mean, I, I feel bad if we didn't take them, honestly. I'll, I might just throw them in the cryostasis, but I mean, like, I don't want them to die. That just seems wrong. God, we're going to have so many animals. It's going to be absurd. I'm going to build more cryostasis, and we'll take all the slag. All right, there come the drop pods. You can see them all flying in. Oh, there's so many. All right, how many salvage bays do we even have? Fifteen. All right. This was a nice place, and then it became slag. <sighs> All right, there's a thousand, one thousand five hundred slag lying around, so I gotta call episode here to smelt it all down again. This is gonna take me, it usually takes me about an hour, give or take. I just go get some coffee or something, take a break, read my book. <laughs> <laughs> there are more efficient ways to smelt down slag. Uh, if you do download the mod collection that I do have available in the description, it does come with us. Uh, steel chunk stacks and a faster smelting ability so you don't have to ride it out i just kind of like the vanilla style that's my own personal opinion i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and i hope you guys have yourselves a wonderful day stay safe out there have a good one